Another beautiful sunny day on the good ship Little Bear. Today's jobs entail a lot to do with what I have in my magic bag of tricks. The first little job, of course. New rad cap. Now the problem with buying a rad cap for this boat is that the first thing that the parts guy at the parts store asks is, what kind of a car is out of? Well, it's out of a 32 foot sailboat. And that stumps them right there. But basically it needs a seven pound spring action. And I suspect that the diameter of the throat and the top have to be in close spec. So I got as close as I could. And hopefully that does the trick. If it doesn't, I have purchased an overflow hose and that will divert the liquid that pours out of the radiator to a overflow bottle. Overflow bottles are ridiculously expensive. Kind of looks like a urine bottle from the hospital, doesn't it? This one cost me 40 bucks. The next one up is 100 bucks for a bottle. Of course, this is obviously designed for a car. But all I need it to do is hold a little bit of liquid. So now the next trick with this is to figure out some kind of mount for it. I was hoping that it would have like a bracket with a couple of holes in it that could screw it to some wood, but that's not the case. So I will have to fabricate one. Hopefully that won't be too difficult to get done. Then I bought a new drain tube with stopper for the sink in the head. It's got a nice long tail on it, so I'm hoping I can get the hose on it without too much problem. I think the hose is about an inch and a half, and this is probably about an inch and a quarter. So it'll be interesting to see how that fits. We shall see, won't we? And then last, but not least, Got a bunch of nice long screws. It'll take nuts to secure the deck box. The deck box did not have hinges when I bought the boat. And that is also one of the things that the boat surveyor said. Not not for insurance purpose, but he said, it, you might want to get that taken care of before you go sailing because <laughs> if the lid falls off, it's going overboard, which is true. So. That's going to get done. Other than that, I don't plan on doing a whole lot more today. I might start sanding the cabin top, or I might start sanding the bowsprit and boomkin, because that was a project that I started and then didn't complete because of the weather. But the weather is supposed to be nice, so it's a good time to get to it. All right, I'll report back to you. I've installed the new rad cap and the overflow hose. I connected it to an overflow bottle right here and let the engine run for about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. It was up to full heat. It's running about 185, which is warmer than I like, but I don't know if there's anything I can do about that. And as you can see, it has dumped out a couple of ounces of coolant and that is with the new rad cap in place. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Obviously, the coolant system is developing too much pressure for the rad cap. I don't know if I just need a heavier duty rad cap or what. Well, I guess I'll talk to the engine guys and find out. But for now, 
that'll have to do. And it's on to other chores. As you can see, the sink now has a drain, which is a step in the right direction. However, it's not connected to the hose. The reason for that is that the drain tail is an inch and a quarter, and the inside diameter of that hose, which it has to go to, is an inch and a half. So I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to proceed. I also have the issue of the angle of this hose. This stuff is really hard to bend, and I don't want to put it on the pipe here because this metal is actually really flimsy. I don't want to break it or bend it, make it leak. So I may have to find uh, a step up hose, barb, whatever, and an angle piece. But that I'll have to do when I get back into town. Can't do anything more with that right now.